Well, the region's environmental research community has been stunned today by a deadly plane crash that happened near Easton, Maryland this morning. The twin engine Cessna 402 was a research plane on a flight to pick up at least one technician for an air pollution monitoring mission. Yeah, that data was going to the Maryland Department of the Environment. Maryland State Police say the pilot who died was the only person on board. Boy, our environmental reporter Scott Broom is following up on this tragedy from the Tipton Airport near Odenton, Maryland, where that plane was based. So, Scott, what went wrong here? Well, the NTSB hasn't determined that, but we do know why the plane was flying. These extreme heat events like we're having right now are associated with really bad air pollution, and the research flights that have been conducted for years from airfields like this one at Tipton is what this pilot and this airplane were up to. That's why the plane was flying today, according to the Maryland Department of Environment. An urgent emergency on the waters of the Tredavon River about five miles short of the Easton Airport at about 9.30 this morning. This twin-engine Cessna 402 research plane owned by the nonprofit University Research Foundation went down as it approached the airport. Elena Russo speaks for Maryland State Police. Police believe the pilot was headed towards Easton Airport when the crash occurred. We have divers from the Anne Arundel County Fire Department who were on the scene and were able to recover the victim who was the pilot and the sole occupant of the plane. Eric Heidhausen is with the University Research Foundation. One of the stable contracts we've had for many years has been atmospheric research sampling. And that is uh, there is equipment from the University of Maryland that goes on board and would normally uh, be used to collect air samples to look at. Just a month ago, WUSA 9 reported on the airborne research being carried out in the region. Since 1995, the University of Maryland has conducted some of the nation's most detailed research on the nexus between weather pollution sources and the formation of extremely harmful ground-level ozone, the irritating lung and eye-burning pollutant most people know as smog. Maryland's Department of Environment issued a statement. A flight had been planned today as a continuation of our usual ozone season research, but particularly meant to gain a better understanding of the behavior of ozone and other pollutants during extreme heat. A source with knowledge of today's mission said the plane left Tipton Airport near Odenton to pick up at least one technician associated with the University of Maryland and equipment in Easton, where the runway is longer, offering better lift in the extremely thin hot air, which is a challenge for airplanes. The cause of the accident is under investigation. Back live now here at Tipton Airport, where this mission originated today. Nobody here has commented on the incident. The identity of the pilot has not been released by authorities. You know, the data these flights collect help forecasters predict outbreaks of air pollution with surprising accuracy. Flights like this and the data they generate are where code orange and code red air alerts come from. In short, this was an environmental mission that collected data to protect the health of all of us. And unfortunately, it ended in tragedy today. Reporting live from Tipton Airport in Anne Arundel County, Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Yeah, reminder, this is also a dangerous job. We are thinking of that pilot's family and friends tonight. Scott, thank you.